Hi everyone, Allison Hartson here, running for United States Senate in California. I want to update you about an article that just came out regarding a poll that was just released with some pretty surprising results regarding this race in particular, and what this can mean for our state and what it can mean for our country is pretty dangerous. So there is a person who has risen out of nowhere, out of left field, and according to this poll, would win second place on June 5th for the primary. And if you remember, we have a top two system, so the it, really you'd need first and second place, and then those two people go on to the general election. So this person who has risen in the poll, and we know that we can't necessarily trust polls, but it is still good to follow them, see if they're an indication of anything. Well, this guy, if, if this poll is in fact an indication, what this means is that we're going to wind up with another 2016 where our two options, the lesser of two evils, will be between a corporatist and a white supremacist. Let me tell you about Patrick Little. Patrick Little is running as a Republican. And that is extremely dangerous, of course, because people vote down ballot. You know, most people really do vote based on party, their party being Democrat or largely their party being Republican, and they vote based on the names they recognize. Most people are not voting based on policy. Most people are not voting based on a person's record, their experience, their character, uh, what they bring to this particular race and what they will in office. So it's no surprise that this guy, Patrick Little, would be rising in the polls just because people are like, I'm just going to vote for a Republican. And that's why we have to make sure that people know about this guy, because the Republicans I know here in California would never support someone like this. He is a white supremacist through and through, a straight up neo-Nazi. Uh, this guy has said that he believes Jews should have no say over white non-Jews. He supports a neo-Nazi website. He believes that Jewish people should be removed from our country. This neo-Nazi website in particular advocates for violence against Jews and their kids and their families if they do not leave the country and if they do not stand down against white supremacy. And the violence that they specifically have mentioned includes murder, the murder of these people and their families. Uh, this is this is no joke, people. This is really serious. Um, the votes, the elections that are coming up really are a fight for our lives, a fight for our future. And we have to make sure Democrats and Republicans and independents all across the board are very well aware of this. Um, he's also, this guy Little's also a, a fan of Christopher Cantwell. If you're not sure who he is, he's kind of risen in popularity as a neo-Nazi. And he, in fact, actually was interviewed and, and commented on this race in regards to Little. Let me read you a quote that he said. He says, I have my doubts that Holocaust revisionism pulls well among Californians of any party. Therefore, he doesn't believe that Little has a chance. In other words, if... California Republicans were supportive of having another Holocaust, then maybe Little would actually win because Little is advocating for that. And so is Cantwell and neo-Nazis and white supremacists uh, at large. So this guy is running for office, rising in the polls, and could very well win on June 5th unless we get out and vote. This is no joking matter. We have to hit the streets. We have one month left. And this is the time when people are paying attention to elections. So there's a lot of good news to be had here that if we just get out there, knock on doors and make phone calls, how do you do it? Get involved. Sign up for my campaign. Take action. Do something every single day for just the one month that we have left. But really, truly, if we don't want another 2016, if we are sick and tired of, have, of having the lesser of two evils, if we don't want to be... To, to wind up with having to vote between a corporatist 
rapist and a white supremacist, we have got to spread the word and we have got to get out that vote like our life depends on it. This is our chance for redemption, everybody. This is our chance to get it right. We finally have people all across the country, look at the Justice Democrats slate, look at the brand new Congress slate. We finally have people we can vote for. We finally have some real true options, some real hope, but we also have at the same time, the extreme opposite of that. And so we have to get involved and take this back and do every single thing we can. Go to my website, alisonhartson.com, sign up to volunteer and follow through. Again, let's take it back. Let's have some redemption and let's get it right this time.